Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. State-owned defence industrial group Donnell this week unveiled significantly improved annual results. Senior journalist Keith Campbell was at the presentation and he joins me now. Welcome Keith. Uh, acting group CEO Zwelaki and Chepe described the group as being on a sustainable growth trajectory. Can you tell me more? Indeed. Um, the, this was the latest in a series of uh, increasingly good uh, financial uh, results reported by the group over the past few years. The uh, revenues up by 41% in comparison to the previous financial year. The net profit up by a similar amount. The exports up by 6% and exports now account for 58% of the uh, group's total revenues. And they have uh, an order book that covers four years of production at current rates. So yes, the group is looking good. It is clearly continuing on a growth path that was initiated a few years ago. Uh, Mr. Nchepi made a point of praising the staff, the workers, at Donnell, not once but twice during his presentation of the group's results. But it is looking good, yes. What about uh, further improvements and room for growth? What are some of the key challenges in this regard? Well, yes, not everything is, is, is uh, great. Uh, the big concern is the debt equity ratio, which is uh, too high, uh, higher than they want. Um, and they are going, uh, getting it down is going to be a top priority for the group in the coming years. Uh, the acting chief financial officer uh, pointed out that they would have to start bringing it under control within the next two years. That is, start the process of bringing it under control in the next two years. I think they're hoping to get it under control within five years. Uh, but that's a top priority and uh, they're looking to improve efficiencies in the company and to improve profitability. And if they do this, it will make it uh, possible for them to bring the debt debt equity ratio down to a level that is desirable and that they would like to see. Now, <clears throat> there are other challenges. Uh, and in this case, the challenges, not problems. Uh, the one is, uh, the one big challenge is that the days when Donnell could just sell an overseas customer products made in South Africa are coming to an end. More and more countries are demanding local manufacturing technology transfer. Fortunately, the group does have a strategy for this, and it's targeting the especially lucrative markets of the Middle East and Asia Pacific. The second challenge is uh, getting the cash to finance the, the growth of the company. The company has been growing quite rapidly in recent years, and they need more cash to sustain this uh, rapid growth. But again, they have a strategy to achieve this. Again, they're optimistic they will be able to achieve this. So that's the situation with the challenges. It's, uh, the, shall we say, the problem of the debt equity ratio and the challenges of having to meet the demands of overseas, the increasingly tough demands of overseas customers and financing their own rapid uh, corporate growth. The results also touched on the group's local socio-economic impact. Uh, can you tell me more about this? Yes, uh, the uh, presentation highlighted that 68% of Donnell supply chain contracts were placed with local companies. Uh, as a little bit under 900 million rands worth of business had been placed with a black owned South African companies and the share of business placed with uh, companies owned by black women had increased from 2.8% to 9%. Uh, of course the company also has its own training programs for engineers, technicians and artisans that uh, strengthens the skills base in, in the country and of course not everyone works at Donnell for the whole of their lives so other companies benefit in due course. Uh, they spent 63 million rand on training their own people. Uh, and they also have a schools outreach program uh, on which they spent 5 million rand, which provides maths and science uh, education to children in 
poor areas uh, in Gauteng. So, yes, there's a significant local socioeconomic impact from the NELS activities. That's great. Thank you, Keith. That's the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.